Future got the studio where it's like so many artists come through and you make so many songs, you just forget. You know what I'm saying? You just forget because he gonna keep them and then you just forget you made the song. So he came in there playing the songs. I'm like, dang, I forgot I said that. Like, like dang, I forgot I had his song. So then Future started the music. He was like, he told Birdman, he was like, bro, I can really do Quijo album. So we they talk, we talked for like four hours, you know what I'm saying? And we did the business or whatever. And um Future executive produced the album. We got in the studio. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's how it went. Hey, y'all made a masterpiece. I love it. So, did you learn any tricks or elevation tips working with the great future? Of course, I always learn from future. Like, future the wizard, for real. Like, they don't call him that for no reason. Like, future probably the most, like, besides Chris Brown and Thug, like, future probably the most talented artist I ever been in the studio with. Because, of course, he's older than us, so, he know other stuff, like other melodies, other tricks and trades and stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he used to always tell me, like, I remember when uh, we was doing the Rich Gang thing, all of us, meet the Quan, all of us, I remember Future meet us sometimes, and I remember he'll tell me, like, boy, this, like, this how we gonna do it. Like, we all be listening to music, just come tell me in the corner, like, Quee, watch, this how we gonna do something. You know what I'm saying? That's when I was, like, 22, I'm 29 now. You know what I'm saying? So that was years ago. Sometimes it take a long time for stuff to happen. 